the absolute volume of the horror yesterday. There were more people killed in Las Vegas in this shooting than have been killed in any one day in either the Iraq or the Afghanistan war. It's also important to note that yesterday's mass murder marks the 272nd time that we've experienced a mass shooting this year. Things are absolutely out of control. Yesterday, America saw an outdoor concert that had become a killing field. They can add that to the list of other killing fields in America. First grade classrooms in Sandy Hook, theaters in Aurora, nightclubs, the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, a church in Charleston. When is it going to be time? This, yesterday, members of our caucus went and spoke to Paul Ryan, asked him to allow us to have a select committee, asked him to allow us to move forward, and the answer was no. The time is now. As, as my colleague Mike Thompson said, these are more deaths yesterday than in war. And, and frankly, the American people expect and demand and should demand that we take action. <laughs> Obviously, uh, with so much loss of life and so many other people that are still injured today, uh, those families need our prayers right now. They need to be up uplifted. And we also need, as people are saying, what can we do to help? We also need to remember uh, that there is a tremendous loss of blood. Uh, and go to your local blood bank and uh, just donate blood. That alone uh, can be a very positive sign, especially when you look at how much blood was lost and, uh, and probably will need to continue to be used at the local hospitals as people continue to be treated. We are all just reeling from this horror that we witnessed in Las Vegas. Uh, as we speak, we have a lot of people in the hospital right now uh, fighting for their lives. Parents are grieving for their children. This is just awful. Um, we cannot let the actions of a single person define us as a country. It's not who we are. Instead, what truly defines us are the acts of heroism we witnessed after the tragedy. Kevin just told you about the man who shielded his wife. There are just hundreds of stories of people looking out for one another, strangers helping each other, first responders rushing in to shield people, people lining up right now today, you saw the pictures, to give blood. Um, this is what America is, people helping each other. Uh, this healing process is going to take time, but we have to remember that we are all in this together as a country. That bill is not scheduled now. I don't know when it's going to be scheduled. Uh, right now, we're focused on passing our budget. By the way, we're bringing our budget up this week. Uh, I don't know if, if you knew that, uh, but we're bringing our budget up this week. The reason we're bringing our budget up this week is we want to pass tax reform because we think that's one of the most important things we can do to improve people's lives. That is our, our present focus, and the Sportsman's Bill is not scheduled. Thank you.